Asian champion last year. Leonard Chemetai, the world junior mountain running champion. George Beamish, the 336-1500 meter runner, is down to 813. What can this man do to turn three successive silvers into global gold? Gurma has to run quickly, you would think, to run the sting out of Elba Kali's finish. Nirura set a national record for Japan. Finishing second behind Gurma's world record that came in Paris. RJ, Spain, ninth last year. The world champion, the Olympic champion, the ninth quickest in history. What kind of race is he expecting? If he's there with Gurma over the last 200 meters, he'll surely win. But will the Ethiopian have burnt him off? Leonard Bett, world junior champion in 2018. Rooks, as I said, national champion. Dezania, Pan American junior champion a few years ago. Simon Koech is six out of six in 2023. Massive PB in Monaco, he's a brilliant hurdler. Sundstrom of Sweden. Gina Oui, national record holder over 3,000 at the steeplechase. Here's Kenneth Wale. If it's perennial silvers for Gerda, it's perennial fourth place finishes for Wale. Desperate to get him on the podium. Isaac Updike of the United States. Huge moment for him. This is one of the most eagerly anticipated steeplechase races in history. And El Bacali. The Olympic champion yawned on the start line. Here we go. We need to pay close attention to the tactics here. Lama Chagurma has finished silver in Doha, in Tokyo and in Eugene. In Doha, he lost by a hundredth of a second to Concessus Capruto. In Tokyo, he lost by less than half a second to Elbakali. And last year, he lost to Elbakali by 0.8 of a second. 1.37 seconds across the three races he's lost. Surely, he's got to make sure this is fast. The arguments for him, Tim Hutchings, he's broken the world record. He's broken the 3,000-metre world record indoors and Lamacha Gurma now has the national record for Ethiopia over the 1500 meters. But El Bacali has got lightning quick acceleration. And surely, surely, if it's too slow, it's going to play into the hands of El Bacali once more. Well, I, I think, Rob, you're right, but I don't think he'll go hard until maybe halfway. I think it's asking too much to go really early. Let's go back to the high jump, though. Tamberi here at 2.36. Here's the Italian, the Olympic champion. A first time again. Oh, after one hiccup at 2.25, he's gone first time, first time, first time. Unbelievable from Tamberi. He has the lead. Harrison, 2.36. He's had a failure. Now, for the first time, he's been shunted off the top of the pile as the American. Javon Harrison. Perfect on his first three heights, 225, 229, 233. Then at the crack of vulnerability, but he goes clear as well. Still in the battle. It's not all over, not by a long shot. He's in second place after Tamberi goes clear. First time. Barshim, well, he's in a bit of trouble. Third attempt for him. Brings it down, brings it down. Well, that's one of the upsets of the week so far. Barshim will finish in third place, he can hope. Leonard Bett leading now. No real move here, and the longer this goes on, the more you suspect it plays into the hands of Supain El Bikali who has got his eye on Lamacha Gurma, second from the left-hand side. 2.50 at 1,000 metres. This is exactly what El Bacali wanted. He's desperate to successfully defend this crown. And Rob, I reckon gurma has got about two laps in which to make, it to, to make a decision to go hard and start pushing it along, because otherwise, 
It will be getting into El Bacali's territory. Although you've got to remember, Germa is a 3.29, 1,500-meter runner. Quicker than El Bacali. And look, El Bacali has followed Germa now because he senses there is a move on. In Eugene last year, El Bacali ran the last 100 meters in 13.6. Germa was 14.08. Yes, Gerber in second place, the world record holder, has run the steeplechase four seconds quicker than Sufain El Bacali. But El Bacali's got rockets on his feet on the last lap, and Germa has to be brave enough to do the damage now. Well, they come through, Rob, with four laps to go. They still haven't reached halfway. And the pattern of the race is beginning to become clear. Look at that, three Kenyans in the top five. The world record holder and the Olympic champion. Those are the top five. And El Bacali now will cover anything thrown at him because we as we approach halfway, I think they're beginning to have left it too late. They've got to go. They've got to start stretching away and putting in a hard lap that really makes El Bacali work here. Yes, he's not as quick at 1,500 metres as Germa, but he does have that lightning quick leg turn uh, turnover down the home straight and it's proven irresistible in the last two or three major championships. I'm sure it must be hard to be brave in a global final, but this is Germa's best ever chance to beat El Bacali. Two world records this year, 3,000 indoors. That was a 25-year-old world record that stood to Daniel Komen. A PB and a national record over the 1,500 metres. He's got to take some confidence from that. And he's got to believe he can do something here to deny El Bacali yet another glorious moment. And look at this. Germa on his own at the front, surrounded by all three Kenyans, with El Bacali watching them all, poised in fifth, ready to strike. Well, Al Bacali will be delighted that this hasn't really gone hard as yet, Be beginning to wind it up. Kibi Watt behind him, and on the far side, the third of the Kenyans, Koech. But now Gurma moves to the front for the first time, and this is decisive, Rob. 2,534, that was a 2.44. It was a bit quicker, that second kilometre, but it wasn't super fast. It hasn't taxed El Bacali yet. This is his move. This is his bid for glory. Germer at the front, little stutter into that. El Bacali's a better hurdler than Germer. He's run more than twice the number of elite races at steeplechase. When Germer broke the world record, it was his first steeplechase since the Eugene final last year. It's the world record holder leading from the Olympic and world champion. And even the Kenyans are beginning to be stretched out here now we've got a race on, and it's Abraham Kimiwot, the Commonwealth champion, in third. He looks to be the best placed of the three Kenyans to try and upset this duel on a balmy night in Budapest. Well, Rob, Gurma has got the job to do now. It's there for him to achieve. He's taken the initiative with a 1,000 to go, just over a 1,000 to go, and he's got to stretch El Bacali here now, he's got about three metres, I'm sure he can look up at the big screen and see that. See if he gets his head down here at the bell and charges into the final lap, but El Bacali looks ominously calm, frankly. They take the bell in the final of the men's 3,000 metre steeplechase. It's the world record holder. Oh, and there's a faller there. Abraham Kimiwot, the Commonwealth champion, has gone down. He's back up on his feet, but Bet, his compatriot, has come past him. Drama in the battle for third and drama in the battle for gold. The world record holder, Gurma, against the world and Olympic champion, Sufain El Bacali. El Bacali's hurting, but he's close. Has he got the acceleration? This is Gurma's best chance, but look at the Moroccan. Vaulting is so important here. Good from both of them. A little stutter there from Lamasha Gurma. He left it too late. And Sufayn El Bacali is going to become a multiple world champion at the 3,000 metre steeplechase. Massive battle between Kimi Watt and Bet for the bronze. El Bacali reigns supreme once more. And it's yet another runner up finish for the silver man. And what a battle for the bronze.
Real heartache there for Bet. Abraham Kimiwat, the Commonwealth champion, pulling himself off the floor to get a global bronze. It was a great chance for Gerber to turn so many silvers into a gold, but he just didn't go early enough. He just didn't go hard enough. And El Bacali's reign at the top of world steeplechasing continues. Well, El Bacali, 803.53. The stat that tells the story, Rob, is that last 1,000. 229. That is faster than sub four minute miling pace for the last two and a half laps. Barriers, water jump, and all. El Bacali finished like a rocket. And come the uh, final 100, to his credit, it wasn't close, was it? He won that, going away. And I do think that Germa should have gone earlier. That final 1,000 was just not asking enough questions of El Bacali. He needed to be stretched by halfway. And he wasn't. The Kenyans did their share at the front, they tried. But uh, El Bacali is becoming one of the greats of this discipline. There's the subplot, and it's an incredible one. Kimi Watt has injured his arm. I wonder if he's broken his wrist. The fall was so heavy, and it's incredible that he got up again to take the bronze medal, denying his compatriot Leonard Bett. Tears of joy, tears of a champion. Soufane El Bacali has beaten the world record holder to taste gold again here in Budapest. He was the one hungry for glory tonight.